one. All right, guys, I'm at Matty Ice Studios. Yeah, the, yeah. It's my favorite place to be, bro. I swear, it's my favorite place. You made it a vibe today. Yeah, By the yeah. way, I'm with Case Money right now. Yeah, automatic. We're in the motherfucking building, man. Can you, I cuss? Yeah, you can no, say whatever yeah, you want, for bro. For sure, for sure. You know, this is the Matty Ice show. You can yeah, do, yeah. you can say whatever you want. Um, I always say, like, we just can't blaze in here because we're in a really nice building and um, we have a lot of other businesses in this building. So okay. one day when we get our own facility, yeah, we'll, be, sure. we'll be blazing too. But but you brought all the Bel Air today, so we be doing that today. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. Shout out to Rose, man. Facts. For sure. All right, Case Money, bro, I've been hearing a lot about you. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about you in Arizona. People have been hearing a lot about you in Vegas, uh, the two places where I'm at a lot right now. Um, how does that make you feel to know that you have a buzz to you right now? Oh, man, I'm blessed, man, because uh, especially, you know, my background, where I'm coming from, man, and, and the people that surround me, man, uh, positive energy around me, and uh, it's keeping me afloat, man. But, uh, you know, we ain't make it yet, but we almost there. So where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia. Philly. Philadelphia, man. I moved out here in Arizona, um, like, 08, uh, but I've been back and forth. Um, most of my family is out there in Philadelphia. How old are you right now? I'm 31. Okay, so I'm 34. Okay. We were just talking about this in the previous interview I just had. Like, yo, it's funny because Ross didn't even drop his hustling track till he was 35. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. a lot of these artists, 30 is like the new 20, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like the new, it is what it is. Like, yeah, we're still young, man. We're still in it. And what's dope is, is we're still young, but we have a lot of knowledge, too. Yeah, for sure. You know, because a lot of these young cats, they don't have the knowledge that we have, and yeah. they get themselves jammed up in different situations. Yeah. So that's not hopefully what... It's going to happen with you. Nah, nah, <laughs> man, no. Nah. I got too many good people around me, man, especially my manager, Jason, man, and uh, Gio, man. They keep me afloat, man. They try to keep me out of everything um, because we, we got an eye on the prize, man, so. You know, I deal with a lot of teams, and you guys, you definitely got a good team. Dude. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's absolutely. important. So absolutely. who's who's the whole team? Um, We got Boss Boy. Uh, that's Jason. Okay. Um, We got uh, Boston Boy Gio. Um myself uh, we got some prospects um shout out to og santana uh we got shameless promotion um and we got one shot it and uh, to the top visuals the management company um and then everybody that got underneath their umbrella man shout out to them so it's crazy because you're from philly but you're here in arizona you yeah, said yeah. about 2008 yeah yeah so you orchestrated this whole team in arizona um nah because uh jason and them they're originally from boston so um, we, you know, we kind of got the same concept, you know what I mean? Uh, but when I first moved out here, I had a whole different team, you know. Um, it was my brothers and them. Uh, shout out to Dash Money and them, Cream City, uh, Cream City Records, uh, which is still going now. Um, and I started rapping with them. Uh, then Dash, you know, started doing his thing and blowing up, and uh, I just took the back, you know, the back seat for a little bit, and I just actually started rapping again about two, two years ago. So, and then uh, I just started building my team with Jason after that. So, so when you say you started rapping again, wh why did you take a break? Um, school. I went to school and working, and um, I uh, lost. You went to college? Yeah, yeah, Grand Canyon. Degree and everything? Yeah. What'd you get your degree in? Uh, psychology and sociology, man. Fire, bro. Bachelor's, man. That's huge. Yeah, for huge, sure. Huge accomplishment. For sure, man. For huge sure. Accomplishment. For sure, man. But, uh, I, I stopped because um, I lost the passion for a little bit because I wasn't inspired. You know, um, around that time, uh, it was a it was a lot of big dogs out here stumping around that time, and um, you know they was doing their thing and uh, they were you know taking up a lot of space, which is cool. I mean that's the game, but um, I just wasn't feeling it because you know I'm coming fresh out the East Coast and it's a bunch of West Coast uh, rappers out here. You know what I mean? Which is cool, but. Um, I just wasn't in that vibe and that, that rapping mood, and uh, I still made music. And, you know, I still got drives full of music, but I just wasn't, you know, pursuing it as much as I wanted to pursue it. What I think is crazy, bro, is that you have the degree. Yeah. Uh, you can go out and make 100000 yeah. right now easily yeah. with the degrees that you have. Yeah. Uh, but, but you said, you know, no, music, this is what it is. It's music. The thing is, I'm not following that because, um, you know, some people, you know, they say that you got to be... I can't take people problems home with me, you know what I mean? And that's what, you know, psychiatrists and psychologists do, you know what I mean? And I, I don't think I'm ready for that, to take people problems home with me after they come and talk to me or come and get some advice. I'm not the person, you know, to get no advice from because I'm not a saint, you know what I mean? But uh, Did you think about that when you were going through the degree? <laughs> no, I, I was doing it, you know, to further educate my mind and okay. expand my mind and expand my vocabulary. You test and, yourself, like, bro, that's a yeah, big accomplishment. Yeah, for sure, man. I, I did that just because, um, you know, I wanted to talk, you know, more about, 
you know, other stuff than, you know, the norm in rap. So, you know, I wanted to use different words and use different, uh, you know, analogies and all that. But, um... So you think that helped you with, like, your, your flow, too? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That and then, uh, you know, other rappers that, you know, inspired me, you know. So they, that that also helped me. And then listening and following their blueprint and um, following how they did things. And, you know, I learned from, you know, mistakes from other people. I didn't learn from my mistakes. I learned from other people's mistakes and what not to do and how to move a little bit better than what I'm doing. So, so like, you say you learn from other people's mistakes. Mm -hmm. Who in particular? Um... Close circle, friends, family. Yeah, both, both, and then also in industry. Um, yeah, you know, friends and family. That's always a given, you know. Um, shout out to my man D-Log, man, um, and uh, everything that he did and accomplished. But uh, I learned more from the industry. Like I actually watched and studied Jay Z and his blueprint and how he came up with the whole rock and and um, how he came up with just. From reasonable doubt up until now, the 444, I watched that whole process. I watched him grow as a person. Watch him, his business side with him and Damon Dash and all that. You know what I mean? Um, and I learned what not to do as far as business partners and all that. So, Are you involved in any business ventures right now? Absolutely. What you got going on? I can't tell. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say too much, but um, shout out to um, my soil company, uh, Terra Bionics, man. Um, because, you know, uh, weed is the next thing to pop right now. So um, Terra Bionics, though, uh, definitely go get your uh, shares of stock. Is that in a that. clue, bro? Is that a clue? Yeah, it's a little <laughs> something, something, man. And uh, but besides that, man. Um, Are you involved in anything right now that you can share that, you know, is, is out right now or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we got the we got the you know the business venture with Sony um, and Go Farm. And, so uh, I want to ask you, what's going on with that? Uh, well, they're helping us with our distribution um, and everything else that you know we got. But uh, as far as placements with like your music, yeah, placements so and uh, playlist like and in um, and places where it plays at and everything like that. Uh, but besides that, you know, we got uh, Jason got the apparel. You know, and we're gonna push that. Um, and then uh, we just did a business venture with. Uh, Boss Boy in uh, Cream City, you know, so they got they got something coming right now, so. Bro, um, projects. Yes. When's the first project? Yes. Uh, what, what was the first project? When my, was the first project? My first project was uh, the ghost of Angelo Bruno, man. Uh, he was a big mob boss in Philadelphia, man. So uh, that was around like 2009. What was his name? Angelo Bruno. So he's a big name in Philly. Yeah, he's a big name, a big mob boss out there, man, and uh. That's I'm, from, what, I'm from Chicago, bro. So okay, like, all right. You know, so, so I kind of understand the same big city vibe. Yeah, yeah. My mom, people's from Chicago, man. I got some people's out there, man. But um, yeah, Go San Angelo Bruno was my first, my first project, major project. But I really didn't do nothing with that. Um, right now, and they can find um the Freedom uh, mixtape that's out. That's on every platform right now. That's something I just put out, just uh, you know, hold it off until I come with my big major official project. Um. As far as right now, well, what we got going right now, we got the Volley Nine Cipher with to the top visuals and uh, Boss and Boss Boy, man, and then we got nine other artists out here. Uh, but as far as my projects, man, we're gonna we're gonna focus on singles for a while, and um, just so we can get the traction and build up the buzz, and then you know we're gonna hit them with a good project and everything like that. So EP or an album maybe will happen this year. EP is happening this year. Not not this year. Probably beginning of next year, first quarter. You know, uh, fourth quarter is usually uh, for the heavy stuff, so we putting out heavy records right now singles. for that. Yeah, it's heavy singles right now for that. So, are we gonna get some singles with big features? Yeah, absolutely. This year? Yeah, absolutely. So it's absolutely. already, it's already. Yeah, yeah, that's in motion already. That's in motion with most of the artists out here already. Um, shout out to Hannibal Lech, man. Shout out to Tater Crown. Uh, shout out to V, man. Um, shout out to Dash, man. Uh, shout out to Geo. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be some big features out here. Have you worked with artists like V the Ruler? Because I heard something that I haven't worked with him inside the in like the studio or whatnot. Uh, we talked briefly um, over DM and whatnot. Um, I seen him at the last uh, Summerfest, I believe they had out here at Endgame, and uh, we talked briefly. Um, we know we know a mutual party, and that's how I got introduced to him. I heard him when I first moved out here and everything. Um, I sent him something, you know, just to track and whatever. Um, he should be sending that back. I know they're busy right now, so yeah, he's. Uh, it seems like they're going on tour. Yeah, absolutely, man. And shout out to him, man. He's he's definitely a good and big influence out here, and um, most people don't know that. But uh, yeah, I haven't talked to him personally, but we talked on the. DMs and all that, but um, you know we try and get something going with that. 
His freestyle was insane. I seen that on the show. Yeah, I seen that. I reposted that man, and he, I said, "Man, he's see, he's saying something. <laughs> he's saying something, man, for sure." But um, you're right, coming here. You're doing a freestyle tonight too, though. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. So I you know, you know what's up. You yeah, know, no, I know the bar is high, man. Okay. You know us? I seen Kim here. Um, damn, what's her name? Uh, Smarson. Nah, something C. Bossy. Yeah. Bossy. A lot of people <laughs> like she be. Yeah, she be. We're getting a lot of traction from that. She hot, bro. She is. She's she hot, hot, bro. She's hard. Yeah, she she got something, man. Um, she's confident. Yeah, for sure. And then you need that. You need that. You need that. And you need that. Um, this is why I love. I love this, bro. Like I love doing this shit. Yeah, bro, you need that swagger for it too, for sure, man. But uh, the single with me and Tater Crown that's about to come out next week. So what's it called? Uh, Warlord. And that's next week. That's next week. Next Friday, Thursday, next Friday. midnight, something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, and today we dropped the Volley 9 Cypher on all platforms and digital DSPs, man. Go check that out, man. The Volley 9, D. Carter, what's up, man? You got videos dropping too next week? Uh, Well, we're working on a video, but uh, I do have videos out right now. Um, I do have the Lemon Pepper Freestyle that's out right now. I do have Rico featuring me, myself, and Dash. Um, And um, I do have a couple... Like five videos in a tuck right now, just waiting. Uh, you know, we this, you're ready to go for the rest. Yeah, of Yeah, absolutely, man. This is chess, not checkers, man. Now I want to show my whole hand yet. So okay, I got you. You know what I mean? Uh, slowly but surely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna trickle it out, man. We're gonna we're gonna uh, make it last, man. Have you had any big shows that you've opened up for? You know, in Philly here. Uh, uh, out here, um, out here, I opened up for a couple shows, man. I, Young Buck. Or headlined your own? I, I haven't headlined my own yet. Um. I've been in headliner for several out here, uh, but I haven't headlined my own. So you open up for Young Buck. I open up for Young Buck. This was back in the day though, like around 2010. Um, it was it Bone Thugs too? This was back back in the day, right before I got really serious with it, and I I wasn't going to ask Case Money. It was Young Case at the time, and uh, and then I changed my moniker. So Case Money now. Yeah, Case Money, man. All about the money now, man. <laughs> it's all about the money. Well, for sure, for so sure. So then let's ask you this then, bro. Um, you're independent right now. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what it's planning on staying then? Um, I ask everybody If they come with the right number and uh, me and my team and, and, you know, boss boy and everybody sit down, man, and, we, you know, we can negotiate a good, a good, soluble, you know, contract with them. Then yeah, we can we can work something out. But I mean, if you guys want to, there's wanna, a lot of heads in the squad though, yeah, so I'm sure everybody needs to be comfortable. Yeah, and then that's what I'm saying. You know, so we we <laughs> definitely can uh, work something out. But until then, you know, you guys can contribute. You know, and that's what we're doing now with Go Farm and everything to contribute into what we already got going on. You know, shout out to Sky and them, man. All right, so what do you think right now? your goal is as far as music is concerned yeah how you're rolling out your stuff what's yeah. your goal coming up like what are you really trying to do coming up right now um my overall goal is ab absolutely that's the first thing is to provide for my family that's that's number one but as far through as music through music do music um you know so they won't have to work another day in their life you know what i mean um but besides that as far as music wise for my team um we looking for longevity, man. We looking for um, you know some substance, man, and we looking for someone that's going to give us uh, the opportunity for the substance. You know what I mean? So, I mean, besides that, you know, we we looking to, to tear shit down, man. Do you see yourself doing anything else, like acting or anything else, tapping into that? Yeah, uh, fashion, man. Besides that, fashion, uh, maybe acting a little bit, but fashion mostly, uh, because. I love it, man. And then not just that, man. I want to go. Me and Gio was just talking about this the other day, man. The Met Gala and all that, man. We're going to be there, man. We're going to be there <laughs> it's for 30, sure. 30000 a ticket, bro. Yeah, man, it's good, man. We're going to make that. We're going to make sure. that happen. I don't even know if I was rich. If I, I guess I would want to do that because all the people I would network with. Yeah, man. And you, you get the, that's, that's the opportunities. You get to rub elbows with people that you don't usually rub elbows with. And then that's how doors open. And the Machine Gun Kelly, bro, it's, dude, it's crazy. I'm, I'm, I used to throw concerts and... He was the last one I threw, and I like saw him like through a crazy stage. And I'm looking at him now; he's with Megan Fox at the Met Gala. I'm like, God, man, this guy, <laughs> yeah, this guy's just dropping albums, like going yeah. number one every year. Before, yeah, like, for sure, man. We working to those brunches, man. Those Rock Nation brunches and everything. We trying, we trying to get up there, man. So, so what do you think it takes to get there soon? Uh, hard work, dedication, and uh, that's what I think. Everyone in my team has that, and everyone in my team shows that. 
and everyone in my team is hungry. So when you say hard work, dedication, like I'm not, I'm not bullshitting you. I'm up every morning at four thirty in the morning, every fucking day. And okay. Everybody that knows me knows that. Yeah. And it's, uh, I feel like if I'm up at five, it's late. And if you're sleeping at six, you're fucking late. Yep. And I don't even fuck with you if you do. By the time you it's like Josh, like Josh is up straight up. Like I can text him at six thirty in the morning. He's yeah. up. We're already talking business, and I answer him right away. I'm up. Like I'm being a one hundred with yeah. you. I'm up at four thirty. Yeah. And my other boys, they test me. They'll call me at three. So you can call me twenty four hours a day. Yeah. I'm gonna answer my fucking phone. I'm gonna answer like I'm not tired. Yeah, that's me and Jason. Man, we, you know, we up like I'm getting off I'm at work. Serious, so that's a straight up yeah. best facts. I'm, I'm getting off at work at four, so I'm already up anyway. And usually, Sal, man, the shameless man, I can call him anytime I want to, man. And he's 24 up. 7. 24 7, man. He's up. Like he's up, man. But usually, uh, definitely me and Jason, man, we up around that time. He'll tell you, man, I'll call him every day. Yeah, hey, what's up, man? What's on our agenda today, man? Well, we, bro, you know. bro, think about this. If you wake up at five, and let's just say five, which yeah. I think is late still, but let's just say you do five. And everybody else wakes up at nine. So if you just take those four hours mm -hmm. and you multiply it by seven, that's 28 hours a week. That's an extra day you get a week. Yeah. But you get four extra days a month. You get 50 extra days a year of living <laughs> that other people are sleeping. Yeah. You know what, yeah. what can you get yeah. accomplished in 50 days? Yeah. That's how I break it yeah. down. Okay. I see it the way. All right. It's 50 extra days. Yeah. So I'm going to make more money in those 50 days. Yeah. A that's that more. ambition. That's that hunger, man. You know who else had that? 50 had that, man. 50 sure. had that. He ain't never stopped, man. So for sure. Yeah, I get it. For sure, bro. All right, so we got albums coming. We yeah. got projects coming. Yeah. You got five or six music videos done. Yeah. You got stuff that you can't share yet, so yeah. I know that's serious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to press you on it because it's probably contract obligations. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're about to drop some bars. Yeah. Um, where can everybody follow you right now first? Man, you can you know find me on at The Real Case Money on all platforms, YouTube, Case Money. Um you can find uh, Boston Boy Geo on all platforms, um, and on his DSPs, Boston Boy Geo. Um, you can find Boss uh, Boss Boy on all platforms. Uh, that's for the apparel. Uh, Cream City Records. Uh, that's on all platforms. CreamCity.com. That's actually coming soon. Uh, Shameless. You, Sal, you can find him everywhere. Shameless P TV. But as far as me, man, yeah, Case Money, man, at on uh, every platform, man, for sure. Is there anything you want to let your fans or supporters know that's coming or that I don't that I, we didn't bring up? Yeah, no, nah, man. Uh, just know some of your favorite artists is in my DM and I talk to them on the daily, on the daily. So that I'm doing something right. You know, um, we making quiet moves, man, because we are trying to make sure things happen in the right way, and we're not trying to uh, force anything. For sure. So what we're going to do tonight, when you say you want to drop bars, because we do this shit straight off the top. I don't know if you're going to perform some music when you come in okay. um, that's unreleased or some stuff you've already performed. Okay. And I don't know if you're going to freestyle. So when you came in, I asked you, bro, yeah. you said you want to freestyle today. Yeah. So we're going to give you a random beat. Um, we're going to see what you got, bro. Like I said, I never know what I got when you when you know, when you know walk in. Um, you've seen what other people can do, so <laughs> you already know what it is, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what you're walking into. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited myself, uh, man, for sure. We're going to get you a random beat. Let's make it happen. This is Matty Ice Show. We got Case Money in here. Follow my guy right now. Case uh, Case Money on the gram. Everywhere. YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. Stream his music. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know he got some big projects coming. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now we're about to hear the music. So yeah, let's yeah. get it going. All right, guys. I got Case Money in here right now. He wants to drop some bars. He wants to freestyle. We're going to make that happen. Yo, this is super, super, super random tonight. YouTube music is down, so we're giving him something that's random that's already on the computer. Yeah, yeah. He's about to uh, drop some bars right now. Well, uh, it's the Matty Ice Show. Yo, it's hard to be a boss, it's easy to be a coward Honey Dutch is coping my appetite for the sour Hurry got respect and the money, I need the power In and out, out and in, know the attire huh? One falls move and poof, you in the bay When my jack boys move, it's smooth like Tango Ray See my shorty got that long bread, fuckin' with old head In and out of town, greyhounds get born here See, enough with the sideline Lyrical homicide, all black, cover my face like I'm the Taliban Nigga, I'm proud of mine, tools like it's hammer time Cause the whip and the paper, pushing the paper out of time This the city, money gang, we all the same Her music dope, the listeners gotta check they vein The overflow, overfilling the lyric ghost My hat low, face behind us, I was so Slapping out the car, black suede on haters Had to say the game, y'all can thank me later Ferragamo belt, polo socks, that's flavor Head of my people, tired of marching, I save them It's building empires, taking soya from your neighbors Building empires, taking for you uh. Uh, yo, keep uh, it going, keep got it going, it. I got, got you. you, yo, yo, case money, uh, 
Yo, first year I'm a rookie These niggas overlook me Bitches trying to confiscate they pussy, huh? Long road, I pen drop my location They said patience is a virtue I've been patiently waiting I'm connected to the underground The door in the basement I see the tongue for 10 months You can't count my vacation, huh? Ain't no cap, these niggas let me out Ain't no pain in my game There's only pain when they carry out More money, more problems Man, I get the message Hating niggas in my circle Had to get to stepping I get advice from a double rifle He said the sun and the moon Get stuck on the same cycle Take notes when you clean your rifle Make peace with your God And may the odds be in your fucking favor I jotted down on my piece of paper See, I'm the piece of paper More of Nigga Uh Uh I got you, man I, I got you, you. Yeah. you got round three Yo Uh I told him, live from the bad cave I'm darker than the old slave My rhyme sending chills I'm burning bridges with a switchblade Punch time, grind time Smoking on that wine time Ah, so low, I see D getting stoned See, I ain't trying to smoke That's the reason I was gone See, your balls pull strings That's the reason I am home But rappers, I'm happy with they rhyme Get a facelift, I'm burning every track Ain't no time for no patience I'ma set you on fire I'ma make you dance with me Underground rappers need to really deal with me See, I don't need to recharge Magic poop, be gone my balls that live on for eons and eons. Triple A balls. Set. Nigga, come on, man. Come on. come on, man. Let's go. Come on, yo. You I got, got you, more? Man. Yeah, I got really? you, man. Yo, right. yo, yo. Uh, I told them coming to this game, you gotta find what could suit you. Cause these niggas that sell you a pipe dream like a hookah. No, I listen one of these niggas lost like Bermuda. And I laugh when they told me my past make up my future. Stupid. Halfway through it, I should have mute you. It's a war going on outside, so who you rooting for? Money can't buy you love, so who gonna feed the poor? I'd rather die broke, rich in my morals, to be real rich and rotten and turn spoil you. Come on, dog, the last line should have fooled you. No code of conduct, your rhyme suck, your time up, give you right hooks like. Like Ali, you pick one. The kids run with the pumped up kicks. Fuck fades, I grew braids so your hat don't fit. I'm a trip, I get hair like Afro picks. So please stay off the TIP of my dick, nigga. Woo, shit. Acapella shit right there, too. Smooth. Man. Woo! Man. Alright. Man. Pull cool off, bro. Man. Cool off, bro. All right, bro. That's Case Money. That was really off the top. Man, for shout real, out, shout real. out to Maddie, man, man. We here, man. Cream shit in the building. Boss boy in the building. Shout out to Gio. Shout out to D Lok, man. Falls up, man. For real. Bro, we always love uh, when artists come here and and shake the room up like this, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, damn, bro. Okay, we see you. We see you, bro. Uh, follow my guy right now, Case Money. On all uh, platforms. That was straight up off the top. That was one take. Obviously, you guys saw that. We went like four rounds just now. Um, Straight off the top, yeah. straight beat like that. We got the Bel Air Blue out. Uh, Case Money has a big career ahead of him right now. Case Money on the gram. Case Money everywhere. Make sure you follow him. Uh, he brought the Bel Air Blue. Fuck, yeah, yeah. I, I need more of that, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I got uh, you, bro. Appreciate I got you. you. Got I'm going to see you on some shows coming up. Absolutely, man. Big shows, big features Absolutely, coming. Absolutely, man. Shout out right now. Uh, like I said, man, shout out to the Volley 9, man. We, our, our video is out right now. But shout out to D. Carter, man. He got show tonight, man. Make sure y'all tap in with him, man. Uh, he's doing big things, too, man. Shout out to Gogo Margarita and uh, Futuristic for, you know, letting us do it. The last show just previously has just passed, man. For sure. All the local town here in Arizona. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Always appreciate him and... Uh, we did it again. This is the Matty Show. We brought in Case Money. Yeah, yeah.